Hey guys, today I'm here to bring you my review of The Revenant. Now it is 2016, so I am done reviewing 2015 movies, but I did decide to make the exception for The Revenant because I've been waiting for this movie for forever. I mean, I could have seen it before 2015 ended online, but then I realized I just movie I need to see in theaters. Also, I get distracted easily and I need to be in a theater so I won't have any distractions. And I'm glad I did because The Revenant is a masterpiece. I absolutely love this movie. Now, don't get me wrong. There were a couple scenes near the end, like dream sequences, that were kind of pretentious. And honestly, I hate pretentious films. I hate art house films for the most part, except for American Beauty. But for, but for this movie, I'm going to make the exception because I really loved The Revenant. So I'm not going to take points off for that. So yeah, let's get to the acting. Leonardo DiCaprio, this is his best performance ever. It was so freaking good. Um, I've always loved Leonardo DiCaprio, but it wasn't until a few years ago I realized that he was my favorite actor, and this proves it. I really love Leo DiCaprio, and seriously, he the, he's the winner this year at the Oscars. Like, he has no competition, really. I mean, he is the winner. I mean, they better... He better win the Oscars, the Oscar this year for Best Actor. I mean, if they do the same crap they did last year by not nominating Jake Gyllenhaal, like they did, if they do that again, but with Leonardo DiCaprio, I'm going to be pissed. But I do think he will get nominated, but I swear, if he doesn't win, I'm not going to watch the Oscars again. Or if not again, for a long time, because that's bullshit. So yeah. Other performances were great. Tom Hardy was really good. He could get a Best Supporting Actor nomination. And also, Will Poulter was really good. And also, even better, Donald Gleason was in this movie, and this guy compresses me with everything he does. I mean, guys, he's been in four movies in 2015, and I've loved every single one of them. Ex Machina, Brooklyn, Star Wars The Force Awakens, and now The Revenant. This guy is making one great decision after another when it comes to picking movies. He's great. Now, Domino Gleason will not get recognized by any awards, but he still is good nonetheless. So, yeah. Also, the cinematography. This movie is beautiful. It's the most beautiful movie of 2015. And if seen this movie, I would have said that The Martian or Mad Max Fury Road is the most beautiful movie of the year. But this movie takes the cake. Also, the directing from Alejandro G. Inaritu was fantastic. Seriously, the bear scene was freaking amazing. I know everybody says this in their reviews, but it's true. This movie is amazing. That scene was amazing. There are a lot of amazing scenes, but the bear scene was freaking fantastic. And the best part of all was obviously the, the whole story of this movie. I mean... Leo DiCaprio's character, Hugh Glass, I mean, he survived the bear attack and some, like, wow, this was freaking fantastic. But it is only my second favorite survival story of the year because The Martian is still takes the cake because it has humor in it and I love movie with great humor, so yeah. But nonetheless, that's not taking away anything from this movie, The Revenant, because it's fantastic. And yeah, I really love this movie. I'm giving The Revenant a 10 out of 10. Yeah, uh, this movie is fantastic, and I still can't believe Domhnall Gleeson has been in four movies in 2015, and I've loved every single one of them, and I have given all of them a 10 out of 10. That's freaking amazing. Oh, so, yeah. If you've seen The Revenant, t tell me your thoughts on it, and also, what's your favorite Leonardo DiCaprio performance? I'd love to know. And my next review will be at the new episode of Rain, which comes on in a couple hours, and I'll be my review will be up a couple hours after that. So look forward to my review of Rain, and I will see you guys in my next review. Bye!